Making your own, your own e-juice can be quick and easy. Um, I've been doing it for about seven years now and it doesn't have to be very painful. So with that being said, I'll get it right into it. Um, to know about nicotine, um, I buy it in 100 milligram per milliliter base liquids so that I can divide it equally into a recipe. Like say if I'm making 100 milliliters of e-juice and I want six milligrams of nicotine, then I use six milliliters of this nicotine, that's it. So for every 100, I would use six milliliters. So if I want to make 200, I'd use 12 milliliters, and so on and so on. So that's why it's easy to calculate like that. That's the most important thing you need to know about making your own juice and how to calculate nicotine strengths. Now you can go ahead and buy the six milligram base solutions like that, but and just add your own flavor to it, but then it still won't be exactly six milligrams. It'll be a little bit less, because you have to account for the flavor displacing some of the nicotine. So it'd be like five and a half milligrams or something like that, or five, I don't know, whatever. And um, so for today, I'm going to be making 200 milliliters of e-juice, um, of biscuit flavored. Uh, just to show as an example. So if I want to use, like, say, here's an easy recipe that I'm going to use. It's just... 15% flavoring, um, 5 milligrams of nicotine, so I'll, I'm going to make 200 milliliters. So I know if I need 15% flavoring out of every 100 milliliters, I'll need 15 milliliters of flavoring. So um, I'll use 30 milliliters for the whole 300 milliliter e juice, or 200 milliliter e juice, sorry. The whole recipe. This thing here, the vegetable closer in, first thing we'll do. Is I can see the 200 line on there, so I'm gonna go up to about 160. Wait, if I can use 30 of this and 10 of this, that's 40. Yes, yeah, so it's 160. I'll be going up to 160 exactly on this. This vegetable goes around 100% CG USP from eSigExpress.com. There's other ones out there like Liquid Wholesalers, Liquid Nicotine Wholesalers. They're a good one. eSigExpress.com is awesome because they're really close to me and they're only, uh, you know, 30 miles north of me. So shipping's next day always. That's cool. So I'm gonna look at the 200 milliliter line. Just go and see the 150 milliliter line. So I'm just gonna go just above the 150 milliliter line. vegetable glycerin. Next what I'm going to do is take my nicotine and pour it into a glass like this so that I have it out. Yeah, you should be doing this in a well ventilated area, but I'm just going to pour a little in a glass like that for now and then um, just quickly I'm going to take this and then This is a five milliliter syringe, so I'll be using two of these. I should go two. One. So you see what I'm doing here. here we go. Two. So I'll end up being five milligrams of per milliliter of nicotine. I'm going to go ahead and set this out this nicotine jar back over here in the kitchen real quick. Because I'm done with that. I'm done with nicotine as well. So you can go ahead and set that aside. And I'm going to put in my 30 milliliters of flavoring. I'm just going to go ahead and pop off the top here this flavoring. Go ahead and just dump it in here.
So now I take this whole thing and I just pour it into like a bullet blender thing and I just blend the hell out of it. I'll be right back. There you go. Just blended the hell out of it and afterwards it should look like that. Full of air, all frothed up and good looking. And that's your e-juice. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer this back into that jar and put a lid on it, back into a mason jar and put a lid on it. And then store it for steeping for a good, I don't know, until it, until it regains its clarity and its color. Um, it'll, it'll regain its clarity first and then um, it'll start gaining color after about a week and a half or two weeks or so. And then once it starts regaining color, you can go ahead and vape it. It'll be done then. So that's when it's ready to steep or ready to vape. So it's that easy. I'll draw it up out of with a syringe. I'll take a syringe and draw it up out of there and put it in a bottle so I can just drip it on my drip tip or into RDTA and just vape it, you know. E juice one on one.